Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that's going to be a little bit different for me because today we are doing a get ready with me for my work end of year Christmas party. So what makes this video a little bit different for me is I've actually painted my nails and I've got a fresh tan on, but I still have to do my hair and my makeup. But I thought, seeing as I actually still have the blue Yeti X mic, I bought this literally two years ago that I have not yet used. I think today, let's try to do a little bit of a voiceover. I've never done one before, so wish me luck. But I think it's gonna be a little bit more fun for me to just chill out, listen to music, and try to do a voiceover. So let's do a little bit of an unboxing. So this is the blue yeti x mic i bought this as i said about two years ago as you can see on the side there's quite a few different features i kind of know a little bit about this mic i am definitely going to be trial and erroring it today so hopefully it turns out okay here is what the back of the box looks like. I'm very curious to hear what the audio quality will sound like versus my blue mic versus my Rode mic. Again, I will leave my link on how I actually set up this entire setup down below if you're curious about all the little bits and pieces. And then the back of the box, I can't personally read because it's in a few different languages. And then let's go right ahead and unbox it. When you open up the box, it's got some little instructions and a diagram on how to use it. And then on the inside here is what the mic looks like. So you can see it's sitting in some foam, so it's nice and stable in there. So when you take it out the box, here is what it comes looking like. And as you can see, it actually pivots up and down. And then here is the front. And then the only thing that was left in the box is a male USB to this type of charger, which I'm pretty sure is how you actually use it. You plug it into something. So I'll show you all the other attachments that I picked up. So first and foremost is a case to house the mic in. So you can see it's quite a large, sturdy case. On the inside, you can see there's some mesh to keep your cords in and you can't actually see it, but there's actually a cutout. So you actually pull this little foam piece out and the actual mic sits in there. So there's what it looks like when it's in the case. I also picked up a little pop filter that the mic sits into, so it just helps with any bounce back. I also picked up a few different extension cords, so this one allows it to be plugged into my camera. So if I ever want to try this one instead of my Rode mic, I can. And then this little adapter actually allows the Yeti X to be plugged into my iPhone if I ever wanted to use that. And then this one is always just good for headphones or anything of that sort. And then the last two things that I picked up for my Yeti were actually a boom stand and a shock mount. So this just allows it to be clamped onto a table or anything that I can mount it from. And then this stops, again, any rattling from the table from getting into the mic. So that's the last things. As I said, I picked this one up quite a while ago, a couple of years ago now, and I haven't tried any of it out. So without further ado, if you're curious to see me get ready, let's get started. Okay, so starting off with the hair, I'm taking my Hot Tools Volumizer and I started by separating my hair into smaller layers. Taking a small section of the hair, I'm wrapping it around the barrel and as you can see, I'm pulling down slowly to create a really loose, soft curl. Taking pictures in my mind Got the sun in my hair, blue in your eyes I could lay So I didn't entirely know what I was planning on doing with my hair but I knew I wanted to create some sort of big voluminous wave. So I took each section of hair right after I dried it and I pinned them up in these velcro rollers. These ones here are 57 millimeters, so they're the medium size. So to give my hair as much body and volume as possible, I started taking these slightly smaller rollers. These ones here are a 48mm roller and I started setting the layer above that just to give myself a little bit more of a fuller curl. So 
to try and give my hair as much volume as possible, you can see I'm taking the top layer and I'm pulling that up and away from my head. I flip my head upside down and you can see I'm really trying to raise the roots and curl the ends in. And then to set that, I'm taking the biggest Velcro roller at 66 millimeters and I'm setting that on top of my head. And then in case you guys are wondering what clips I use to set the rollers, these ones I found on Amazon, so I'll link them down below. But for the last two sections of hair, I'm actually rolling the second to last piece with the medium roller. And then for my fringe pieces, I'm splitting them in half, really getting that volume by the root, and I'm taking these smallest rollers to set them in place. <laughs> Okay, so I thought I'd do a little mini haul of the things that I bought to wear tonight. So this is the dress I'm going to be wearing. It actually can be worn in a few different ways. I didn't realize when I tried it on that the model actually has these like up to her shoulders and the little tie here is actually a halt neck. When I tried it on and the way that it looks super cute was actually I had it off the shoulder. It's got this little ruching by the bust right here and you can see even the sleeves have got a couple of different like ruching elements right here and right here. And then the dress is super cute cute and feminine it's quite short it's got like more ruching down below it's super cute super like feminine energy so hence the hair and then I bought some shoes so if there's a little hint right here in my nails I cannot wait to show you the shoes Here's a little sneak peek at the box. So you can see these ones are from Novo. They're called the Zebu in the color orange. These ones are a female size eight and they were $80. And then here is what they look like. These are so cute, totally out of my comfort zone. They are like a electric orange. They've got netting in the front. There's a little drawstring. This little area ties up around your ankles. It's got a nice height for heel. I reckon that's maybe like a four inch heel. As you can see, they are super cute. And my favorite part is they're actually a square toe. I rarely, really, rarely ever find square toed heels. They are super cute. I literally want to just have this in every single color that came in pink and they came in green and I just fell in love with the orange so I'm gonna be wearing these tonight. I'm also gonna be wearing a white handbag. You saw that from H&M in my last haul so I cannot wait to put it all together. I think it's gonna look super super cute. I mean just I'm so excited. And then moving on to makeup, I'm starting off with my brows. So I'm taking the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued For Brows and Edges 2-in-1 Gel. I heard really good things about this, so I picked up three of them. But I'm taking that brow gel and I'm really trying to work that through the brows, trying to get them as close and flat to my face as possible. And then to fill them in, I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil in Rich Brown. And I'm just filling in any of the sparse areas. And then to start priming my eyelid, I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and I'm popping that all over my eyelid and I'm starting to carve out my brows. And then to further prep, I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm blending that out to mix the two. And then starting off with eyeshadow, I'm taking my Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush and the Makeup Geek Single Shadow in Peacock and I'm stamping that on the outer half of my lid and then working that into my outer V. And then next I'm tapping the same brush into this single shadow called Neptune and I'm using that to blend the first shade out. Next I'm taking the Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush and tapping into the single shadow called Poolside and I'm using that to blend those first two shades out. And then picking up the first brush I'm tapping into the single shadow called Shark Bait and I'm popping that through my crease. And then once again, grabbing that same brush, I'm tapping into the single shadow called Nautica and I'm popping that even deeper into my crease. And then taking the Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush, I'm tapping into the single shadow called Chickadee and I'm using that to blend out my entire crease. So come and get me, baby. Let me know how you feel. Make it
And then to really blend that out, I'm taking the same brush into the single shadow called Peach Smoothie and I'm really diffusing that crease. And then going back into my NARS Ready and Creamy Concealer, I'm going to pop some into the palm of my hand and then I'm grabbing my Dose of Colors Concealer brush and I'm going to start cutting my crease. You ain't gotta worry about me playing games I want you just as bad as you want me You and then taking the same brush, I'm tapping into the single foiled shadow in the shade Magic Act and I'm tapping that all over the lid. And then I'm taking the first brush again and I'm mixing the two single shadows in Mermaid and Pegasus which is a foiled shadow and I'm popping that between the two shades to help them blend. And then taking the same brush into the single foiled shadow called Center Stage, I'm using that to darken my outer corner. And then to really make the eyes pop, I'm taking this chunky blue glitter from the Badass Cosmetics Chunky Glitter Set and I'm tapping a little bit of eyeshadow primer onto the lid and then picking up that glitter, I'm stamping that all over the eyelid. And then to really emphasize the glitter, I'm taking the Dose of Colors Mini Mouse Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Dazzling and I'm popping that all over the eyelid. And then next for liner, I'm grabbing my KVD Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper and I'm creating a wing. You ain't gotta worry about me playing games I want you just as bad as you want me You already And then grabbing a tissue with some micellar water I'm really sharpening up that liner and removing any fallout And then moving on to the complexion I'm grabbing the Emco Beauty Sherbet Glow Primer Popping that in my hands and applying that all over my skin We got time to act and then for foundation, I'm pumping some of my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation in 119 Light Medium into the palm of my hand. And I'm taking my Emco Beauty Pro Foundation and Buffing Brush to apply that to my skin. And then moving on to cream contour, I'm starting off with my Emco Beauty Instant Contour Beauty Wand in the shade Medium Dark and I'm applying that to the perimeter of my face. And then to help that blend, I'm grabbing the same contour wand but in light to medium and I'm applying that closer to my face. And then to blend it out, I'm taking my same foundation brush. And then for cream blush, I'm taking my Emco Beauty Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand in the shade Pink Glow and applying that to my cheeks. You ain't gotta worry about me playing games. I want you just as bad as you want me. You already talking with me. And then for concealer, I'm grabbing my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard again and I'm applying that underneath the eyes, down the center of the nose and in between the forehead. And then I'm blending that out using the Real Techniques Deluxe Concealer Brush. And then I'm grabbing my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and my Real Technique Setting Brush and I'm going to start setting my concealer. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Blush Brush to set the rest of my face. And then for powder bronzer, I'm taking my Vive Modern Bronzer Bronzing Duo in the shade Tan and my Emco Beauty Pro Angled Blush Brush. I'm mixing the two shades together and I'm setting my contoured areas. Mama, love is on the line and it's up to ya. 
And then for highlighter, I'm taking my Vive Nova Glow highlighter in the shade Holy Chic and my Real Technique setting brush, and I'm applying that to my highlighted areas. And then for powder blush, I'm grabbing my Dose of Colors Mint For You blush in the shade Amazement, and I'm taking my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm applying that to my cheeks. And then moving back to the eyes, I'm taking the Real Technique Smudge Brush in the shade Chickadee and I'm applying that to the lower lash line. Taking the same brush into the single shadow called Frappe, I'm applying that closer to the lower lash line. And then to even further darken it up, I'm taking the same brush into the shade Mocha and applying that even closer. And then to tie in the blues to the lower lash line, I'm grabbing the single shadow called Nautica again and the same brush and I'm really darkening that lower lash line. Next, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon in the shade O Spice and I'm applying that to my outer half of my lower waterline. And then for mascara, I'm applying a couple of coats in my Emco Beauty Extend Lash Mascara in black. And it's up to ya. You ain't gotta worry about me playing games I want And then I'm popping on my Gemma Isabella Cosmetics Boss Girl Lashes And then moving on to lips, I'm starting off with my Vive Modern Lip Definer in the shade Brat And then I'm filling in my lips using my Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Treasure and then I'm topping it off using the Marc Jacobs Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick in the shade Sugar Sugar. And then I'm setting my face using my Urban Decay and Mecca Land All Nighter Setting Spray in the scent Summer Solstice. So come and get me, baby. Let me So yeah guys, this is the finished glam for my holiday Christmas party 2022. I've got to say the hair turned out so much better than I even thought it would. I will admit I was a little touch and go with the hair and also with the makeup because I had no idea what I was doing but I'm so happy with the finished result and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So if you did and you enjoyed this video then you guys know what to do. Please feel free to leave me a like. Comment and leave any requests that you have down below in the comment bar. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and drag it all the way down to all to become a part of this family and be notified of all my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.